Welcome to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about OpenAI Agent Builder and its comparison with respect to N8N. So we have been doing automation since an ages, right? And uh, for every kind of automation, obviously we don't need a agentic system. So sometime, or I can say most of the time, 70% plus time, so we can do an automation even without calling a agent. And this is what we have been doing. Again, so N8N N kind of a platform or JPR kind of a platform. And there are so many other platforms so which is going to help us to achieve these kind of a automation. And industry-wise, so we all are using it. But yeah, so this is a new things which has been released by OpenAI uh, yesterday itself. So let's try to have a look of uh, this uh, OpenAI Agent Builder. And let's try to understand that how this uh, OpenAI Agent Builder is uh, different from these uh, tool which was already available to all of us. What I will do, I'll just go to Google and I'll try to search for uh, OpenAI Agent uh, Builder. Yeah, OpenAI Agent Builder. I will be able to get a link. So don't worry, I'm going to attach this link inside the description of this video. And uh, once you will come here, so you will be able to see a tab called as OpenAI Agent Builder. OpenAI Agent Builder, by the way. Yeah, just click over here and then you will be able to land into a page and uh, where you can go and you can try to create a project. So I have already tested many projects. So let me create a new project for this uh, video. So I can try to click on create project. And let's suppose if I'm going to give a name as a test two. Yeah, let's click on create. And once you are going to create a project, you will be able to see some of the pre-built template. So where they have given you a template for a data enrichment, a planning helper, customer services, structured data Q&A, and document comparison, internal knowledge assistant. What I will do, so maybe I can try to pick one of these flow. I can try to create a flow from the scratch. That's completely okay. But uh, here, so let's try to pick one of the flow. And with respect to these flow, let's try to understand all of the component which OpenAI has given you inside this OpenAI uh, agent builder. Yeah. So just click on a customer service, let's suppose. And uh, here is a complete graph based flow. You all will be able to find out. It, it looks impressive. It looks amazing. So when you will look into this entire flow, right, which OpenAI has given to you, or you can try to create this entire flow even on your own as per your own task. Uh, to do that, obviously, you have to understand all the component which is given to you, all the nodes which is given to you, fine? So first of all, uh, you have to start, right? So they have given you a start node, plus they have given you an end node as well. So wherever you would like to attach this start node, you can attach it. And end node, so wherever you would like to like uh, define the end, so you can try to attach this one, simple. Now, the most amazing part is uh, this agent, by the way, or you can say a core part is technically a agent. So let's suppose if I'm going to click on this agent, this is one of the agent. So technically agent is what? Agent is nothing but a kind of an entity uh, which will be having some sort of an instruction, a system prompt basically that we used to give that behave in this way, uh, try to use this tool, try to understand this task. So whatever kind of an instruction that you would like to give, so you can try to give that kind of instruction to an agent. And uh, eventually you can give an access of an LLM, right? And then you can try to give uh, access of as many tools as possible. So here, this is the agent. Now, uh, they have made it like a very simple. So you can try to give your agent name. So maybe I can give a test agent over here. And then I can try to define an instruction in my own way that you are basically uh, this, uh, you should behave as an assistant, you should behave as a scientist, you should behave as maybe a developer, and then try to use these agents. So we can try to set a tone over here, we can try to set a tool that it is going to use, tool means technically a function it is going to use, which is going to access something from outside, and then what kind of a response it is supposed to give. So everything I can try to define inside a agent itself. Now, so if I'll talk about this particular application, so here we have a classification agent, we have a return agent, we have a retention agent, we have a information agent. Now, if I'll just try to click on this classification agent, so as per this uh, pre-built template, so here some sort of an instruction has been given, fine? Now, if I look into a tool, so there is no such tool which has been attached over here. Yes, output format has been defined, but I can try to attach a tool from my side, that is possible. 
and by default if you will look into a tool section so they have given you a file search option as a tool they have given you a guardrail so which is uh, i would say a like a new kind of a node which i am able to see over here because file search and all those things are already available plus open ai is bullish on mcp model context protocol basically and they are trying to give you a different different kind of a node which you are going to connect in a real time with the help of mcp for example so if i have to attach uh, or if i have to you know uh, communicate with my gmail or maybe my outlook maybe my google drive so i will be able to do it with respect to mcps whereas uh, uh, in in case of n8n so you just have to like you know access a particular node and then you can try to give your password or maybe whatever request that you are sending and you will be able to get the output in in case of n8n so they have given you as a node but here so they have given each and everything and maybe in a future so you will be able to see more of it uh, in terms of mcp model context protocol so by which you will be able to add a different different kind of a tool now uh, i have done some sort of experimentation by the way with respect to this mcp or you can say a tool and uh, it is not working for me so by the time i am recording this video so at that point of time it is not working uh, it's a big organization so obviously they are going to bring a fixes for this one but yeah i have tested with gmail and uh, with me respect to my google calendar with respect to my google drive it's not working for now by the way yeah you can try to attach your custom mcp server as well so they have given you this particular option but uh, yeah so maybe it will take some couple of days uh, for them to fix it uh, once it will be fixed i will be able to attach my gmail or google calendar and a google drive over here now via mcp right via mcp only you will be able to access all of those tools out there so if i'll talk about n8n they they have basically like a, you know uh, given you uh, hundreds of nodes hundreds of nodes to connect all the services out there in this entire world and that we are using somehow in our day to day operation so in terms of calling a tools it's like a or like you know interacting with any system out there i believe uh, n8n is having a upper hand as of now yeah as of now hopefully they are going to bring the same thing under mcp uh, very soon uh, plus uh, they have allowed even a third party integration third party tool integration via mcp protocol so anyone and everyone in a future i believe will be able to add it but as of now like uh, this is not that open by the way so if you are thinking of attaching a tool you will not be able to attach a tool so easily in case of this agent builder by open ai by the way yeah so okay <clears throat> here we have a classification agent right and then multiple agent you will be able to find out so in terms of example so they have just given you a simple instruction and then they are trying to give an access of a model which is technically a llms and then tool wise so they have not attached any kind of a tool so far let's check other agents as well so here uh, there is there is no agent by the way right there is no like uh, sorry my bad so there is no tool uh, that you will be able to find out over here that that's okay for now i believe apart from that so you will be able to find out a logical node so which is nothing but if else so i can try to call this if else and i can keep on adding elif 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 just like a programming that we do right so just like that so we can keep on adding elif 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 as many condition as possible and obviously system is going to behave accordingly so this is one of the node you all will be able to find out a conditional node while obviously for a loop right obviously for a, a loop condition so here you can try to define your expression and accordingly it is going to work and then they have created one amazing uh, node which is again rare to find uh, which is called as human in loop so here they have given you a user approval so you have a control over your system and you can try to configure that if user is going to approve this then do this so this is a kind of a node that you can try to attach for now in case of open ai agent builder apart from that so there is a transform tab you all will be able to find out yeah so where you can write your data transformation like uh, expression and accordingly it is going to behave for you and then there is a like a, a set state which is nothing but assigning a value to a workflow 
uh, different different kind of a variable you all will be able to assign which is somewhere important uh, but uh, I'm not able to use it for now so honestly speaking I have not experimented with this one uh, but uh, with rest of these things I have already experimented one more amazing thing so here they have given you a guardrail so inside a guardrail so you can try to control multiple things so personally identifiable information if you are going to enable it so in that situation you have a setting tab and then you can try to you know select all the entity or maybe select an entity as per your requirement right so basically what it will do what this guardrail will do so it will try to detect a sensitive personal data and blocks the request before it reaches to the model. So basically if I'm going to start right if I'm going to start and uh, if my model is if I'm trying to like uh, you know uh, uh, execute some of the agent and let's suppose if I uh, don't want my model to process my personal name phone number date of uh, date or time email addresses location IP addresses. So I can try to utilize this guardrail and so that it will be able to stop it, right? It will identify, it will try to stop it as soon as it is going to realize it. And then there is something called as content moderation. So here uh, I can try to like a basically uh, flag a text containing a disallowed content category and they have given you some of the category. You can try to click on this all categories so that you know it is going to prevent all of these categories uh, from, from the interaction that you are doing with the agents. Apart from that so there is something called a jailbreak. Uh, so here you can try to you know uh, like a flag the attempts to bypass AI safety rules such as prompt injection or role playing or system prompt override. So this is one of the amazing node which I am able to find out as uh, this nodes are not available I believe I have to custom like I have to like uh, configure it uh, by writing some sort of a custom logic in other platform but yeah so they have given you maybe they are more concerned about uh, AI safety and uh, I believe that's a real thing that we all should be uh, concerned about. Uh, so this is one of the amazing node which has been uh, given to you okay. So now <clears throat> uh, one more thing uh, which which like uh, which uh, was giving me a worry that when I'm trying to delete these nodes so it's, it's not that easy. So UI interface wise it's not moving the way I was like looking for uh, by the way yeah. So uh, this is again I have to click on the select then select and then maybe I will be able to. Uh, delete this particular node then delete this particular node then delete this particular node then delete this node and then this node and then this node and then this node which I have created okay. So this is the original node uh, nodes or like a workflow which has been given by OpenAI. Now so here right so here uh, if I have to execute this entire flow right if I have to execute this entire flow. So I can try to click on preview but uh, preview is available only for a verified account. So if you don't have a verified account you won't be able to use this particular option. Now if you are going to preview it so technically you are trying to test it in a local and uh, once you are going to like uh, start testing it so it is it is going to show you it is going to show you at the entire flow the flow it is trying to follow inside this entire workflow that you are trying to create and whatever operation system is trying to do internally so one by one one by one one by one you will be able to see those things here yeah see all of those things here. Now it is giving me hello how I can assist you today with your horizontal communication mobile services so I have I have some issue with services yeah. So I can chat and then system is going to give me a response and uh, one thing which I was not able to digest from this open AI agent builder is that that uh, uh, every time I have to just chat and then it is going to invoke all of these things which is not good because this is not a real automation right. So in terms of automation obviously we are going to schedule some of the task which it should keep on doing automatically. Plus uh, I talked about MCP tools and that MCP tool is not working for now for me. Uh, so yeah uh, again they have given you a chat visit right. <clears throat> so again if I am going to like uh, publish it so yeah it will be like in a production. So even publishing wise it's very easy and if I am going to publish it so they are going to give me a chat visit ID as well which I can try to integrate with any other system. 
Apart from that, so I will be here. Here is a workflow ID which I can try to attach. And apart from that, so you will be able to even download a code, right? And if you would like to host it in your own platform, in your own hardware, so yeah, you can do it. So by just by taking this code, but yes, you have to put an extra effort for that one. Uh, and uh, this is this is all about like this uh, open AI agent builder. So as of now, I believe, uh, honestly speaking, right, honestly speaking, so as of now, I think uh, it's not that ready, but uh, as OpenAI is a big uh, platform, it's a big company, they have a massive infrastructure access, they have a massive fund access. So in a future, we may see something very, very amazing. I think it's a very good start. Uh, along with that, so I think uh, ease of use, uh, scheduling, uh, multiple tool access that we are able to find out on a JPR or maybe over N8N. I think that should be available because if that is not available, then it will be very, very difficult for me as a maybe non-tech guys to, you know, uh, plug and play and then like, uh, you know, automate my workflow. So this is where I believe this agent builder is lagging for now. But yeah, uh, won't be able to say much because Yesterday itself, they have released it. And uh, for now, it's, it looks amazing. It's a first cut of the product. So it looks amazing. But uh, again, maybe I will not be able to uh, use it. So I don't think that it is going to kill N8, N or JPR soon. Uh, unless and until they are not able to reach out to that place. That's the first part. Second part, which is again a very crucial part, very important part for anyone who is going to use these tools is that, that uh, I need a control of my data. Right? I need a control of my infrastructure. I need a control of my environment. Now, this one is not open source. Obviously, they are giving you an option to download a code and maybe you can try to host it. But uh, if I'll talk about in it in kind of a system, so it's an open source. You can try to download it. You can try to host it on any platform, any environment you want. And then you will be having a 100% control. You don't have to rely on N8N and especially your data is not going to their server. So which is not true, uh, I would say, unless and until you're not hosting a code which has been created by this entire agent builder for now. So, the, and, and that's, a, that's a major concern for most of us across our industry. And uh, yeah, so that is not available. Uh, so my preferred choice will be still N8N uh, kind of a system, JPR kind of a system. So where I can run my own automation and uh, I can I can uh, bring automation into a production in my own way. And I will be having a full control over to it. I have already discussed about a nodes, right? Uh, so to automate, uh, you know, everything, obviously I need an access of uh, every kind of a tool, right? Every kind of a tool. Obviously, if I'll talk about init n, so most of these nodes are nothing but uh, you can say a fancy uh, HTTPS request. But uh, as a as a as a non-tech person, as a layman, obviously I need it, right? Obviously I need it so that I can make use of tool and I can try to automate things. And uh, yeah, so I've been using uh, this uh, n8n, uh, and it, it's amazing. It looks amazing basically, and they have like a hundreds of tools which is available. I can try to host it in my own environment. I can automate any kind of a task that I want, maybe a simple, maybe a very, very complex task. And it can run. It can like uh, keep on like uh, watching my entire system as per my configuration. It can do a task automatically and many more features, right? Many more features are already available. Well, as of now, this agent builder is lagging. So maybe in a future, we can expect something better, something bigger uh, from this big organization. But... Uh, for now, this is my honest feedback and this is my honest comparison uh, between N8N and uh, OpenAI Agent Builder, which has been released recently. So just let me about your let me know about your thoughts. So what what do you think? Um, what is your opinion? Uh, obviously, AI is trying to make a move, a lot of moves, I would say, in a recent, in a recent days. And uh, hopefully we can expect uh, something bigger, something better in our future. So with that, thank you so much, everyone. Take care and uh, see you again. Please leave your op opinion in a comment box down there. Yeah, thank you.